relationships, no two people show their love in exactly the same way. To help everyone understand the different ways one can give and receive affection, marriage counselor Dr. Gary Chapman developed the concept of five love languages, which include words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. Keep watching to find out what your love language says about you. But first, find out what your love language is by taking Dr. Chapman's quiz yourself or with your partner. The link's in the description below. Okay, so now that you know your love language, let's dive into the video. One, words of affirmation. For some, actions don't always speak louder than words. If you score high for words of affirmation, you take conversations to heart. You may enjoy keeping in touch often or having distraction-free conversations. You find it meaningful to hear the reasons behind your partner's love, and you appreciate open and honest communication. Also, negative words can have just as much of an impact on you as positive ones. Two, acts of service. If you value acts of service, you love to hear the words, let me do that for you, especially when a task is particularly stressful. Nothing feels better than when your partner helps take some weight off your shoulders. You are also likely to offer your company on errands or offer to help out around the house as a token of showing appreciation. Laziness and broken commitments are major deal breakers for you. Three, receiving gifts. Do you love receiving gifts more than anything else? This love language can be a bit deceiving. It isn't the gift, but the thought behind it that counts. Receiving the perfect gift makes you feel seen and heard as well as appreciated, especially if the gift is a surprise. You feel happy and secure because you know your partner is thinking of you when you're not around. According to Dr. Chapman's quiz results, gifts are visual representations of love and are treasured greatly by those who value this love language. Four, quality time. If you've got quality time as your primary love language, you want undivided attention from your partner. Distraction-free and one-on-one -on -one time is the key to making you feel special and appreciated. Quality time also includes conversations and shared activities, like sharing a meal, as long as your attention is on one another. And five, physical touch. Do you value frequent, non-sexual touch with your partner? Whether it be through hand-holding, hugs, or a simple squeeze on the arm, to you, touch can be comforting and supportive in many kinds of relationships. Physical touch can be a great way to express care or concern for you. It's all about knowing that they're there for you. If you speak this love language, long distance relationships may not be the best for you. Did you find this video insightful? Which love language do you relate to most? Let us know in the comments below. If you wanna learn more about the five languages by Dr. Gary Chapman, check out our video, What is Love Language? The link's in the description below. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Psych2Go to learn more about psychology. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.